hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial i'm glad to have you guys in today's tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to be taking you on your corset for those of us that are still having issues on how to make our corset with our cobra i'm going to be showing you how to make your corset with your cobra and the easiest method to make your corset here i have my half length set 17 my boss says 38 this is the waist says 34 this is my nipple point my under boss and my nipple to nipple so I'm going to start from the shoulder point and show you how to use your boss cup to get out your body measurements and then show you how to work on it on your material. Okay. And so I have my bra cup here. You can see the size 36 and 36. You can be saying the boss is 38. Why am I using 36? Uh, we have different type of boss shape. Some people are wide and their boss is small. Why some has a small body size around the bust area, but the bust is large. So if you're a bust 37 and you're not on the big side around the bust area, you have to use cup 36 so that the bust cup will not be too big on this. And if you're bust 34, uh, 30, um, 40 and you're not on the big side, you can use 38 or your 40 cup, no problem. But for me, I want to use 36 here so that I don't have the boy and cup too big and then the breast looking as if it's sinking inside instead of being firm inside of the bra cup. So I have my measurements here which I've stated out and I'm going to be dividing this into four. This is going to be giving me nine and a half inches. This is um, 34 is going to be giving me eight and a half inches. And then this, I don't need to divide them. And here I'm going to plus one in to give him to give me 18 which is our half length um i don't need shoulder measurements but if necessary because of i'm going to be cutting that part off i'm just going to put down the shoulder it says 16 so that's it i don't need to add anything because i won't be working with sleeve it's not going to be having a yoke it's just to show you how to make your bra um, corset with your bra cup so this is it my half length says 17 i'm going to be add this is my 17 i'm going to be adding one in to give me 18 inches here so i have my 18 inches and so i'll root that out and then i'll take my shoulder measurement it's always easy when you prepare this from the shoulder area so you'll be able to manage your nipple points measurement and under bust and so i've taken my shoulder slant i'm going to slant this and then I'll take my neck point. I just need three and a half inches and then I'm good to go. So I have 17 and a half remaining for me here because half has gone off. And then I'll take my armhole measurement eight inches. And then what I have here, eight, I'm going to bring it to the chest area so I can have a straight line from the shoulder down to the armhole. So this is it here. And then I'll take my nipple point. It says 10 and a half inches. I'll take my 10 and a half inches direct and then my underboss says 14 so when you check it you'll be having three and a half inches can you see so I'm going to rule them out so I have this ready and this is my armhole area and so I'm going to place my tape and take my body measurements my boss says 38 and 38 inches which is nine and a half inches when we divide it into four and then i have my nine and a half inches here i'll just place my two inches or one and a half inches let me use two inches for my seam allowance and then the waist area says 34 when i divide into four it gives me eight and a half inches i won't be adding any that allowance to this i'm just going to place my one and a half in my two inches here don't mind me i'm used to using one and a half inches i don't like too much allowance so I'll take this up and then I have my body measurements out. So this is my seam allowance here. So I have this ready here. I'm going to take my bra hole and then come here to show you how to do it. But before that, I'll come to this front side from the neck area to take the depth of my neck. I'm going to be using um nine and a half inches depend on how deep you want it to be or how high you want it to be if you don't want your bust to be exposed you can take it up to nine inches but if you want it low that's like 10 to 10 and a half inches so i have my nine and a half inches around here i'll come to that point and take my half inch at the front i can even take it all the way down to make that point look cool for you to understand what i'm talking about so this is my half inch 
I'll roll it down. And then I'll get my bra cup closer. Uh, before that, I'll come to my bust area so that once my bra is coming in, just like we have our bra that after wearing our bra, we are just this strap so the breast will stay firm. I won't be putting my bra cup direct at the under bust. I'll come up by one inch so it stays firm on the body. So this is my one inch up here. Or I'll do, let me do half inch so it's not too much. So this is my half inch here. So adjust my bra up. Keeping it straight like this is not always fine. So at most times we slant our bra up. So you see this way. So the boss area here, this line here, will be looking very relaxed. So this is it. You can see it's corresponding with this line point here. I have. And this is my under bust taking half inch up. So this is here. And then I just leave it this way. Connecting to my armhole. I'll go up a little to this point and then I'll take this all the way around carefully and then to this point you can see I have my shape out already and then I'm going to cut this out and then show you how it's done on your material so this is it the first you take your shoulder measurements you slant your shoulder your armhole length and then you take the neck and then take your nipple point your underboss your body measurements and then your seam allowance no need for that no that needed on this is when you place on your material then you start attaching that for you to be able to attach your that the nipple to nipple here says seven and a half inches which is seven which is three three quarter so i'll come to this point here not from the point of this half inch the point of the beginning of my material and then i'll take my three and the three three quarter in the front here and then I'll roll it up. You can see? So this is my dart point here. So I need to make this straight. So this is my dart point here. I'm going to cut it out and then show you. But before that, here at this upside here, you're going to come to this point here and add quarter inch to be able to turn your lining inside of the material. Then on your material, you're going to be adding half inch half inch all the way around this you can see to make it easy for you so you won't start stressing it on the material so i'm going to chalk it on this part which is on my paper and then i'll connect it and so this is the part i'm going to be chalking out not this outer part so i'll go carefully between the points and so I have this out and then here as well I'm going to be adding half inch up here having my half inch and then connecting into the armhole so this is it so I'm going to cut this out and if you're going to be making a yoke or a keyhole on this this part is also cool for you all you have to do is take the depth of what you want let's say six and a half inches all the way you just have to take this off if you're doing a keyhole all you just have to do is take two inches or two and a half inches here and then bring out the shape of the keyhole you want is that you're coming this way or you're going this way with your keyhole this will just serve so but i'm not i don't need this part of the paper to place on the material this is the main part we need so i'm going to be cutting this out see this is it we call this direct with this measurement it's going to be too low and wide for your bust measurement so this is like adding my sewing allowance to correspond with this if if i don't add this allowance you just sew from this point you've increased it so you see which is wrong so i'm going to cut this out carefully and then this to bring out the body block of this measurement so i have this here so this is it when i sew with my half inch it's coming back into this can you see it it's corresponding see my quarter is waiting for me to fold with my lining inside of it and then i have extra half inch here to sew and then slant my armhole carefully down again to correspond if i'm using a tube cool and if i'm also using a sleeve it's still cool with it so 
for the dart i'm going to divide this into two i'm going to divide this so this is it if you like you can make other lines on it like some of the ones we see all you have to do is to extend your mesh your measurements so this is it i have like um two inches extra here i could just take this all the way up like this depending on how you want the design to be or i can take it up here as well like this then you're good to go all you have to do is when you place it on your material you just add extra half inch half inch all the way here this is it you just add your half inch and then both from this angle and this angle you add your half inch same with this place you add your half inch all the way down and then even at the front side we're going to be adding half inch all the way down to sew as our dart allowance so you're going to see it on the material because i'm going to stay after cutting out this pattern on my material i'll stay it join them and then show you what it looks like and then prepare the course um the cup to show you the corset and then we are good to go processing the material so let's go down and then cut this out and then stay and close the lines of this so you can see after using my pattern paper that I draft out to cut out the pieces I've joined it you can see how relaxed is looking I've joined everything together and this is how the back will look like after doing it you open it out iron it real good but before that you stay it with your paper stay this is the lining part of it you can actually use another material for your lining but I prefer using this so it stays very firm like I give you on the body because you can, you can see both texture front in and out and this is the main body part I've also stayed this part as well and I've opened out the seams and ironed it real good after this you can top stitch on this with your setting bias or your velvet bias or the same material or whatever color of material you want to add to it don't forget when you're applying this on your material you're supposed to add half inch all the way around here like I explained to you you're going to add your half inch all the way so that you can connect with the cup which is this it's going to come in here we carefully connect this inside of it and at this upside as well you're going to add half inch and you're going to add half inch around the armhole area so everything connects real good so i'm going to quickly couple up this so you see what it looks like okay before um i attach this to the body which is the bra cup um, i have the pieces out here which i'm going to be using to cover the bra cup part of the body you can see I've stayed it and it's having um, a bustier cup shape around this area I have it in four pieces this is for one cup and this extra two here is for the other cup you can see I stayed it to make it look firm so it doesn't dance on the body of the cup and this is the lining part you can see I did not stay it so I'm going to join them and show you the shape that it's going to bring out before applying it on this so when it's relaxing on the body of this part of this material which is the body part is going to stay firm on it so just stay with me while i couple this and then show you before connecting it to the bra cup so you can see like i told you i've done the bra cup for this to cover on our bustier you can see the bustier shape not too deep so that it will balance well on this and then i trimmed it out after earning it you can see even without the boss inside the shape is out and looking relaxed so all I had to have to do is take this here and then place it on my bra on the bra cup and then shape it out with the body um, shape of this with the shape of the bustier and then turn it with the lining and then attach it to the body while you're with me you see how I'm going to do it so just stay with me and then go through it any questions drop your comments and then we're good to go so we're still on this and so now you can see I've connected the material to the um, bra cup. If you feel it's going to be dancing around here, you can pin it down. But before attaching this, you're going to be notching the bottom side. Which divide this into two, like fold it into two, both points, these two points here, meeting each other. And then 
you top stitch the bottom side and then the upper side as well so they'll connect with the lines of this bust here like i said if it's going to be moving around you can pin it and then start stitching the same thing i did to the second one you can see i notched it and i notched the bottom side of it and then this is how the front part is going to look like voila can you see very neat and bouncing out so you can see i have excess on the material it's better you have excess than not enough and then i'm going to trim to give you my sewing allowance to attach the lining to the body so i'm going to do the lining the same way which i've done on the material there i'm going to be running it round this and then top stitch at the upside from here i'm going to stitch to this point turn it in and top stitch and then close it but i'm going to show you why i do all that so stay with me while i show you how all this are done so the one important reason why you have to notch this is so that you don't have this area being bigger than this side you can see both of them are equal what is happening here is happening here the same thing is also happening here and when you're connecting it to the body you can see they will just come out corresponding you can see i've not attached it to the body but it's looking cool so let's get down to the machine and connect this this is it i've actually turned the lining of the rack up you can see inside of it but most times we only have excess because there's no stay on it so you just have to pleat it a little to connect so after turning the neck you the uh, upper side sorry the upper side of this and then you top stitch and then see how it looks very neat so i'm going to be trimming out this excess the same shape with this bra up and then cut this to the body okay